In this video, we're gonna be using Tim Soap Busta's Blend and the Harry's Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to use a little bit of unobtainium. This is Tim Soap Busta's Blend. And don't go searching for it because you probably can't find it unless you see it on a BST somewhere. This soap was made I don't know, maybe five years ago for the great Shave Busta, for those of you who remember Busta. And if you don't, well, he was a great guy and a hobby and a friend of mine. And this soap has gotten quite hard over the years. It's lost most of its moisture. As you can tell there, it's gotten uh, pretty, pretty hard, but it still lathered up just fine. And it still smells great. Got a nice lime scent. There's some other stuff going on too, but... Uh, we're using uh, Busta's Blend today just because, for one, I knew I wouldn't have to do a bunch of linking. <laughs> so I just wanted to use something that would be easy to use and that uh, I could use quite easily. And something I haven't used for a long time. Just revisiting some old school products and we're gonna start off by misting the dome. And uh, we will use, after that, the PAA Cube, which again, I have been using this thing for months. And let me tell you, these things <laughs> last forever. It is really a good value if you want a, you know, if you desire a pre-shave pre soap. Now, you don't have to have it. Like, it's it's not necessary. I've used this cube by itself to shave with, and I shave just fine just with the cube. So, I mean, it definitely does what it's supposed to do. It will boost your lather and all that kinds of good, kind of good stuff. Well, let's just get some moisture going here and sort of get that worked up a little bit. And uh, we'll get our shave on with the Busta's Blend, which I haven't used. I don't think I've used this for a while, but maybe I've used it recently and, and I forgot. I've used so many things that sometimes someone will ask me if I used a particular soap and I don't even remember. You know, it's just after a while, things sort of, sort of uh, blur together. We're going to be using the Harry's also. As I mentioned before, let's re-wet the dome so we have some hydration going there. And this is just a continuous mister, link below if you're interested. Just, just helps out in applying that water in a fine mist. And as you can see there, the Busta's Blend still lathers just fine. Still has a really nice scent. Um, scent strength on it is still, I'd call it at least at the medium level, even after all these years. But again... I do take pretty good care of my soaps. I don't get water in them. I don't subject them to extreme temperatures, you know, cold, hot, and so on. And so um, they tend to last me a good long time. I have soaps, as I've mentioned before, old as 10 years old. And so um, if you take care of your soaps, a lot of them will last. Honestly, I believe the verdict is out on the new 12 butter soaps. And that is to say the the soaps that are super fatted and have tons of butter, I don't know if they will last as long as some of these um, because of the ingredients. I don't know if at some point maybe that stuff will go rancid. I really don't know. I'm absolutely speculating. Maybe they'll last a long time, but something tells me maybe some of these really nice bases of today, the soft bases with all those butters, might not last as long as some of these old ones. We shall see. We shall see because I have plenty and God willing, I'll be a, I'll be around <laughs> and we'll let you know. So I'm using the Harry's today, as mentioned before. And I am one of these people. And if you watch me regularly, you know this. I'm not someone who poo-poos gear that other people use. I might say that I don't like something or I don't care for it. Or maybe it was really bad for me. But uh, I'm certainly not going to poo-poo something just because it's a particular type of gear and say no one else should use it like the fact is this razor works very good for me for head shaving uh it comes at a much better price than say your gillette fusion and especially if i'm in a hurry i can get a really nice quick head shave easily with this razor and so i have left a few carts in my arsenal this one the defender um and the head blade I still have those around for head shaving. I don't use them on my face generally, although I could and I have in the past. Um, but really what it comes down to is use whatever you like 
and the Harry's work fine for me on the dome. Um, it pivots, it's easy to use. Um, I've never really had any issue at all with it. So just keep that in mind. Um, try to be welcoming to folks. And you have a lot of new folks who are coming into this hobby and maybe they've shaved their head for the first time. They don't want to use a DE or a straight razor or shavette. Maybe they feel more comfortable with a cart. That's okay. I get tremendous shaves um, out of the Defender and the Harry's. You know, both I like. I kind of go back and forth on which one I prefer. I think I used the Defender recently for a head shave. Got a great shave with it. And I'll get a great head shave with this as well. Um, when using non-carts, I really like the Leaf. That's my go-to. Uses three half DE blades. Now, someone mentioned on a video not too long ago, the Harry's Razor has that trimming blade back there, and they said they're afraid of getting their ear with it, or they have gotten their ear with it, so that's all the more reason to pull that ear down and away and keep it out of the way. See, I'm putting my fingers there so that blade's not gonna butt up against my ear. So. Check that ear when head shaving. I found that to be the place that I have cut myself or nicked myself. I've nicked my ears a few times, and so just be careful there. And uh, use due care around those ears. That They are definitely an obstacle. Um, but I find that if I just hold them down, good to go. Generally don't have any problems. Every now and then I'll get sloppy, but generally I haven't had a ton of problems. And the Tim's soap is still slick, no longer sold, went out of business a number of years ago. Um, I got to tell you, this soap was made for Busta, who was just a great guy. He was really an inspiration to many of us. <laughs> and he was making content along the same time I was. And he was also one of the first people along with me to make regular content, meaning I don't just mean weekly, I mean several days in a row type content. Believe it or not, at that time, which was seven or eight years ago now, there were people who made uh, shaving videos, um, but it was, the frequency was intermittent. Like they'd make maybe one a week or maybe two. And uh, Busta came along and a few other people, myself included, and we started making videos more regularly. Um, Sometimes, in my case, it was daily, and sometimes multiple times a day, <laughs> which really irritated a lot of people. Um, and we caught a lot of crap for that, quite frankly. Like, we really took a lot of abuse for making regular content. Um, and I've never really understood the, the, the uh, argument against doing so. I mean, the viewers can watch what they have time for, and they don't have to watch them all. But to complain about options from my perspective, has always been ridiculous. Like just, you know, don't watch everyone or watch the ones you're interested in. Now, I appreciate every single person that comes by and watches these videos. I really do. And I appreciate your time. And I understand that your time is at a premium and you can't watch every single one. And that is okay. It's entirely okay. But I've never understood the people who go, Ugh, he makes too many videos. And believe me, Busta and myself and a number of other people really caught a lot of abuse and especially me because I think I was probably the first one who made videos every single day day in and day out and sometimes more than one sometimes three <laughs> like I would do a shaving video then I'd have soaps come in and I would lather those soaps up it was just all about enthusiasm for me I was just loving it you know just and I still love it like that today you know still love it at that degree but it, it was really amazing how much crap we had to deal with. <laughs> and they were like, don't you have anything else to do? And I was like, well, sure, we have other things to do, but we like doing this, you know? So just like anything else, some people play video games often for a good part of their day. You know, some people like to take walks numerous times a day or jog or exercise. And hey, some of us were making videos um, every single day, day in, day out, and um, sometimes multiple times a day, you know, like if a guy tells me he's going fishing every day next week, I'm going to go, great, man. That's awesome. I'm not going to go, why are you going fishing so much? You need to find something else to do. <laughs> but some people did. They really took a harsh tone with uh, guys like myself and Busta. So we endured 
a lot of abuse early on and and Busta uh, a lot and the uh, they would always make snarky comments about you don't have anything to shave and they were just he was such a um, a sweet guy and they would just make snarky comments and it really used to irritate me um, the way that Busta was treated and you know he came back uh, a few months ago and made a did a live video or so and then sort of disappeared again and you never know when Busta will make a return, but I hope to see him again in the hobby. He doesn't like the friction or any sort of arguing. And sadly, you know, that's kind of part of the game. People are going to have disagreements. I've never had a problem with disagreements, even when they're spirited. I don't like the personal attacks and, you know, the all-out warring, but you're going to have disagreements. But Busta really doesn't, you know... He didn't really care for that aspect of it. And sometimes he would even get irritated with me because back in those days, it didn't take too much to get me irritated and popping off on video, you know. And I've spoken to that many times where going, you know, if I had it to do over, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but back then it was fun. It was, you know, exciting. And uh, nowadays I uh, really enjoy uh, focusing on the shaving and the products and the people and you know I'm not really looking to lock horns with people now I'm not going to run away from it don't get me wrong but uh, I don't really find that to be enjoyable and for the most part I would prefer to uh, prefer not to be into spats with people it's it's very different to have a a personal spat than it is to have a disagreement about products so me myself even in People I'm close to, we have disagreements all the time, but we're able to uh, work through those, you know, like uh, friends should, you know what I mean? But back then, man, it was brutal because people would literally try to, uh, they would try to have an impact on your channel and, and also your life. <laughs> it, was, it was the Wild West. And uh, I do reflect on it fondly, you know, that's... Now, more than 1,500 videos uh, later, I don't know. I, I certainly reflect um, very favorably and fondly on Busta. And that's why I'm using this soap today. And I know it hasn't always been, he has not always been enthused about me and the things that I've done. And, I, and quite frankly, I don't blame him, you know, because like I said, it didn't take too much to get me in a skirmish and get me, uh, you know, arguing with folks, and I try not to do that. Um, although still, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna be run over, and I still have opinions, and you know, there's certain opinions that I hold on to, and, and you know, until proven otherwise, that's the way it is, but I don't really have the desire to be <laughs> fighting with folks or arguing. Today, it's just easier to not to engage with those people, you know, just sort of move on, and. Keep it focused on the things that you enjoy. Um, back then, it was a little more difficult to to uh, steer clear of folks. And so, anyway, it was a fun time. And for those of you who were with us, you know, you know what I'm talking about. From those of you who have been there since the early days, you know what I'm talking about. And I want to thank all of you, as well as the new people. I know a lot of people I'm talking about are like, what's he talking about? And... Uh, you just have to ask someone who's been around a long time and, and they'll tell you, you know, people go through a lot of stuff in their life and their personality changes and, you know, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. And I hope in my case, it's been for the better. I'm trying to be, you know, much more positive and, and really just enjoying the hobby the way I did to begin with, minus the uh, fighting with people. <laughs> All right, that was a really nice head shave. Let me rinse. We'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, we're back with the magic made by witches. And it, today's video was just a stroll down memory lane. We didn't really pass on any substantive information. We try to do that every single video. I know I was light on the information today. I hope you will <laughs> bear with me. I don't even know uh, when this will air, but wanted to shoot a few videos ahead for the holidays when I might not have time to make content. And I thought it would just be a nice idea to use the good old Busta's blend and remember Busta, remember those days and just reflect um, positively 
uh, on that time. We were all, those of us who were part of Boss Busta's life, I think we're better off for it. And uh, we hope to be part of his life again someday, or at least the hobby side of his life. So Busta, if you happen to see this, we still love you. Hope to see you back someday. All right, as to the gear, we used the West Coast Shaving Two-Tone Brush, which I really love for head shaving. Really decent price on these. Um, they're usually under 20 bucks. Really nice for head shaving. Capsule Choice Bowl. And there inside you see the Tim's Soap Busta's Blend. Really, really nice soap. We'll finish it off today with Booster. This is a Booster Barbershop Classics line, which I got from uh, Italian Barber, I think, years ago. Just a really nice, clean lime scent. Won't hang around, so it's nothing that's going to threaten. I uh, don't think you're going to be smelling like this all day. Although, if I did, I wouldn't mind it. Because <laughs> I like the scent of lime, so let's double up. Use a little more of this. Good stuff. And, uh, man, we've got a good level cue ball head shave, which is what I intended to do. And we did it using the Harry's razor, which I personally enjoy. Again, if you're one of those people who are pointing to other people using cards and making fun of them, don't do that. Don't do that. Just use what you enjoy. Allow them to enjoy it also because this hobby is about expanding and bringing people in. And if you're going to ridicule people for using a card or saying, oh, you're not man or manly or macho, that, that doesn't really get us anywhere in the hobby, in my opinion. Use what you enjoy. Allow other people to use what they enjoy and be happy for them. That's the way I look at it. All right. That was a lot to say. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me. As always, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.